So Shine's approach to culture, which is highly influential on the whole area of culture, is at the top level you have what's called the artifacts. The best way to explain that is look at the pyramids. The artifacts is what you can see. You can see the pyramids. They're big, they're impressive, but we have no clue why they were built, how they were built, and how people used them. The second level of culture, it's what's called the exposed values. These are the, what Shine calls the justifications for your decision making. So why do you think about the world the way you do? And how does that impact the way you expect people to make decisions and behave? In the corporate world, uh, something like the Procter & Gamble way is an exposed value. It's a guideline for how to behave according to the way P&G wants you to behave. Then at the lowest level, you have the beliefs and assumptions that underpin everything above it. Those are often unspoken and invis invisible to the individuals. That's where culture really happens. That's from where culture originates and that you need to understand in order to fully understand how a culture functions. <music>